President Park Geun-hye has nominated former Deputy Chief of the Supreme Cro uh, Prosecutor's Office Kim Jin-tae for the role of the new Chief Prosecutor, completing the so-called Top 5 Chief Directors. 박근혜 대통령이 새 검찰총장 후보에 김진태 전 대검차장을 내정하면서 이른바 5대 권력기관장 인사를 마무리 지었습니다. The government predicted that the national economy has moved into a recovery phase and that growth may hit almost 3% higher than previously estimated. 정부가 우리 경제 상황이 회복기에 접어들었다고 진단하고 연간 경제 성장률이 당초 기대를 넘어 3%에 육박할 것으로 전망했습니다. Amidst news that the U.S. National Security Agency has monitored communications of 35 heads of state, the Korean government has asked whether the Korean president was part of the surveilled group. 미국 국가안보국이 35개국 정상급 인사들을 도청했다는 의혹에 대해 정부가 한국 대통령의 포함 여부 및 사실관계 확인을 미국 측에 요구했습니다. The Financial Services Commission and the Financial Supervisory Service are expected to raise fines for fraudulently using the real name financial transaction system from between 1 and 2 million won to up to 5 million won. 금융위원회와 금융감독원이 평균 100만 원에서 200만 원 수준에 그치고 있는 실명자 위반 그 부과액을 최고액인 500만 원 수준에 500만 원에 수준, 준하는 수준으로 강화할 방침입니다. In the 2013 Korean series, the Samsung Lions beat the Doosan Bears 3-2 thanks to starting pitcher Jang Won's Ham's clean pitching breaking out of a two-game losing streak. 2013년 프로야구 한국 시리즈 3차전에서 삼성 라이온스가 선발 투수 장원삼의 호투로 두산 베어스의 3대 2로 승리하면서 2연패에서 탈출했습니다. A recent report released at a travel conference in Seoul last week suggests that the sky's the limit for the travel industry in Korea, indicating that it is likely to even eclipse China and Japan. The report states that Korea has grown by leaps and bounds in tourism since 1980, with international departures increasing by over 12% and about a quarter of the population going on international trips annually. It is also quickly growing as a travel destination for overseas tourists, having met the government's 10 million visitor goal in 2012. The president of an organization that helped compile the report noted that it takes money to make money, however, and that Korea would need to invest in infrastructure to support the travel industry. In a freewheeling show of defiance against Saudi Arabia's ban on women driving, dozens of women claimed to have driven vehicles in the nation on Saturday, with some of them taking videos of their deeds. Although there is no law that bans women from driving per se, they are not issued driver's licenses and generally depend on men for transportation. Around 40 women drove in a similar June 2011 protest after a woman was arrested for having the audacity to put a video of herself driving on the internet.